Hello everyone. So quickly before we begin, today I'm doing a student focused video. So if you are a teacher watching this right now, click the link that'll pop up in the top right corner and it'll take you to the teacher focused video where I show you how to create the assignment and have a more teacher sided view of how everything works. Now for the students, today I'm going to show you how to create an audio file and submit it if your teacher asks you to. So depending on which platform you have, uh, you'll have various apps. So on iOS and iPhone, iPad, those things, you should be able to use the Voice Memos app, do a recording, and then share that Voice Memo to Classroom or to Drive. This isn't flawless and it's a bit more, it sometimes doesn't work as well, but that is how you have to do it on iOS you might be able to find a different free voice recording app that works better but I do know the voice memos work. On Android and um, the various Android phones it depends on the manufacturer. The Most of them should have some sort of voice recording app but it might be a different name if you're with Samsung compared to Google compared to LG. So my phone is LG and the app is called the HD audio recording. Some of them will say voice memos or voice recording. You just need to find the voice app on your phone. You can also again download a free app and try to use that instead. So before I begin further, also you need to make sure you have the Google Drive app and the Google Classroom app installed for this to work. You can use the mobile sites but they just don't work as well so I would recommend installing those so you have them built into your phone. I'm going to open up the audio recording app now and we're going to see that I have a pre-done recording here if you were to need to make a new recording it should show up right away if it's your first time or you can hit the plus button and you'll see the audio recording screen but because I can't do a recording while I'm doing the video I'm gonna switch back to my list and I'm gonna actually click this recording here so you can see I have a recording here that's already done and I want to share this to Classroom and Drive. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit the share button, those three links, kind of like a Pac-Man. And you need to hit save to drive. Once you hit save to drive, you have the three options here. You need to name it. So name it whatever you want. It can be your name. So I could say Webster's audio recording. The account is important. You need to pick your account. So there's two types of accounts. There's a Gmail account and there is an education account. So you need to be using the account related to your classroom which is going to be the one that's at your school's website. So make sure to click account, pick the account that's related to your education account, your school, and then you're good to go. And you can also select a folder in the third option there. I would recommend having your drive organized in a way where you can find your files, but currently for this one, I'm just going to use my alias and save it to the main drive. So once you're done, you can just hit save and it'll upload it. And then at the top, once you see the little drive symbol and then the upwards arrow, it is done. So now I'm going to go back to the home page and to submit the assignment, we're going to go to classroom. So I'll click classroom to open it up and we can see I'm in the classroom currently you need to find the classroom and the assignment that's obviously where you need to send this file so in this classroom I'm gonna go to classwork and I'm gonna click my audio assignment test submission you need to just find whatever assignment your teacher wants you to submit now in here I'm gonna click the up arrow on your work and you can see there's an add attachment and a mark is done button so we're going to click Add Attachment, and we're going to click Drive because we uploaded this to Drive. Now you have two options here. You can either go to My Drive and find the folder that you saved it in, but I actually enjoy if you do this right away, you can click Recent, and your audio file will show up right away. So you can see Webster's audio recording, and I'll hit Select. And it'll up connect that to classroom you just gotta wait and now you can see that the audio recording is attached so if this is the only thing you need to put in 
then you can just hit hand in right away and hand in and now you've submitted your audio recording for your teacher to mark if you swipe down you can see that it's handed in it's still your normal assignment if you for some reason need to alter it and your teacher has allowed you to you could unsubmit it and change the file now for one other example I'm gonna show you how you can do this on your desktop computer Mac and Windows both have built-in audio recorders obviously the Mac one is gonna be slightly different from the Windows one but I'm gonna show you on Windows 10 here so if you go to the start menu and you type voice recorder you'll see it pops up in Windows 10 and you're gonna get something that looks like this so right away what you wanna do is you wanna hit the record button and you're gonna be able to do a test recording and you can see that the circles get bigger as your voice speaks so when you're done you're gonna hit stop and you now have a recording if you right click on the record in here and you hit open file location that'll show you where the recording is so now I'm on my classroom page as tester Joe this time I'm gonna click the digital classroom and I'm gonna click classwork and similar to last time you're gonna see the audio assignment test submission for you again this is your own assignment that you have to pick and I'm gonna hit view assignment and it's giving me a reminder here but yes when you submit your audio file you're gonna hit add or create and this is where you have the choice you can either upload that to Google Drive or you can attach the file directly so this time I'm gonna attach the file directly so you need to upload it from your device you can click to browse or if you still have the window open from before you can just open that over top and then you just need to drag the file and then you can hit upload it'll upload your audio file bring it up here and now you're ready to hit turn it in so if that's everything you need just hit turn it in turn it in and it'll submit it to your teacher just like that this has been a tutorial for how to submit an audio file to your teacher for a Google Classroom assignment. I showed you both a mobile Android edition and I showed you how to do it on Windows. So, I hope this helps. Have a good day.